The purpose-built limb flow transcatheter arterialization deep veins system is indicated for treating chronic limb-threatening ischemia, a chronic condition where total blockage of arteries in the leg causes lack of blood flow to the foot. This can result in chronic pain, non-healing wounds, and amputation in many patients. Starting with ultrasound-guided venous access, and insertion of the limb flow v sever venous catheter through a vein on the bottom of the foot. The catheter is advanced up the vein to the level of the intended crossing point. After obtaining arterial access at the groin, the ARC, arterial crossing catheter, is inserted and advanced down the artery to the below the knee crossing point. Then, the snaring mesh on the venous catheter is deployed and the venous and arterial catheters are aligned. Artery to vein crossing is easily achieved by advancing the needle from the arterial crossing catheter into the snaring mesh of the venous catheter. The wire is then captured and withdrawn through the venous access on the bottom of the foot. A small angioplasty balloon is used to dilate the connection, allowing passage of other devices. The forward cutting limb flow vector valvulotome is inserted through the arterial access and by advancing it below the crossing point and into the foot, it renders the venous valves incompetent. This allows reversal of flow in the veins, bringing oxygenated blood to the foot. Self-expanding PTFE-covered limb flow stent grafts are placed from the ankle to just below the crossing point, creating a permanent conduit for continuous focalized blood flow. Finally, a tapered self-expanding PTFE-covered limb flow stent is deployed to optimize the transition and flow from the artery into the vein to complete the arterialized circuit. The limb flow system is purpose-built for transcatheter arterialization of deep veins and is designed to restore blood flow to the ischemic foot in patients where standard therapies have failed. An abundance of oxygenated blood in the tissue can relieve pain and promote healing of chronic wounds, reducing the risk of amputation.